So how do you know your air filter is giving you optimal performance? Obviously, if it looks like this compared to a new one, you should probably replace it. But here's one in this lawn edger that looks like this. Looks clean, um, no grass shake out of it, no dirt shakes out of it. It looks pretty clean and most people will put this right back. But I'm going to show you how to test and see whether or not this is restricting the engine, whether or not this is messing up my carburetor, uh, making, you know, if it's slowing the flow of air in, it'll cause the carburetor to run too rich, it'll foul plugs, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to test this really easy. So this works for any style of air filter on any small engine. Um, what I'm using is a mini tachometer slash hour meter. And these, I'll put a link below, they're 10 bucks and they're invaluable for knowing that you're setting your RPM right, making sure that you're getting the most performance out of your engine. All small engines like this should be purring along, maxing out at 3600 RPMs, but most of them purr along around about 3400 RPMs. So if you want to get the maximum performance, you can make sure you're getting that. But that's not what this video is about. You wrap the little wire around the spark plug wire, or I can just tuck it in. And right now, it gives me an hour meter, 28.7 hours, but that's not for this. I use this all the time as my tachometer for all my small engines. So what I'll do is I'll start it up, and usually I tune the carburetor with an air filter off. And then what I'll do is before I button everything up, once I got it to a great RPM, everything else, I put the air filter back on and we test to see whether or not it drops my RPMs. So we're going to do that right now. So let's fire it up. Well, hopefully that surprised you, because it always does to me, whenever I test it, that uh, I notice that a clean looking one that had no grass, dirt, or anything falling off of it actually performs horribly. So that one's going to go by the wayside, and I think what happens is gas or something gets sprayed up on it, and it ends up uh, just clogging up the pores or something, or melting the glue, or something, but they never perform the same, so that one's junk. Um, I guess, you, hopefully you saw this, was your surprise that this one worked just as good as this one. And this one actually I got in a box that says used, worked fine. And I, this is just for an emergency in case I run completely out and I have nothing else because it performs just like a new one. Um, don't ask me why, but that just goes to show looks aren't everything. And this one's going in the garbage for sure, but this one gets a brand new one. Um, and then if you want to, I'll put a link, like I said below, put, like I said before, I'll put a link below on where to get one of these little hour meters, tachometers are invaluable, especially if you have a generator or something else like that. It lets you make sure you're running your generator at exactly 3600 RPMs so that you can get the exact 60 hertz frequency that you need to run equipment. But I'll put a link below where to get that. And I'll put a video link to where to clean the spark plug. This one, the spark plug was fouled and that kind of led me to believe that the air filter or the carb was maladjusted. So I adjust the carb, blah, blah, blah. But I'll show you where to, um, how to clean a spark plug as well and how to defoul them if they're all carboned up. You can clean them and they'll work just like new for just as long as a new one without going to the store and buying one. So thanks for watching guys. Watch the video next on the spark plug. See you guys soon. Bye. You can easily clean these and have them work just as good as a brand new plug and for just as long as a brand new plug in 30 seconds. Let me show you.